At the end of A Storm of Swords and of Season 4 of Game of Thrones, Tywin Lannister is killed by his son, Tyrion. But a popular theory claims that Tywin is already dying, that he's poisoned by Oberyn Martell. So Oberyn Martell is the younger brother of Doran Martell, the Prince of Dawn, and of Elia Martell, who was murdered in Robert's Rebellion. Oberyn's the father of eight bastard daughters called the Sand Snakes, who he had with various women, including Ilaria Sand. Oberyn has a fearsome reputation as a fighter and a lover. He's travelled the free cities, studied at the Citadel, and soldiered in the disputed lands. Doran calls him deadly, dangerous, unpredictable. Tywin calls him half mad. Varys says he's a proud man, and sentimental. Oberyn was close with his sister Elia, and like the rest of his family, he's outraged by her murder at the hands of Gregor Clegane. So when he comes to King's Landing, Oberyn makes clear that he comes for justice. Not just for Gregor, but for the man who gave his orders, Tywin. He never says outright that he wants to kill Tywin, but he hints it heavily to Tyrion, telling him, your father may not live forever. Oberyn's known as a poisoner, having learned the trade on his travels. In his fight with Gregor Clegane, Oberyn uses a poisoned spear, which is what kills Gregor after Oberyn's own death. He's also rumoured to have used a poisoned sword in a duel with Lord Edgar Ironwood, back when Oberyn was 16. This earned him the name Red Viper. So we know Oberyn wants revenge on Tywin, and we know Oberyn uses poisons. Is there evidence that Tywin is poisoned before he's killed by Tyrion? On the night of Tywin's death, Tyrion finds his father in the privy, which some fans suggest shows that Tywin's been poisoned with widow's blood, a poison mentioned by Pycelle that shuts down a man's bladder and bowels until he drowns in his own poisons. But being on the toilet doesn't prove that you've been given constipation poison, right? Especially considering Shay is in Tywin's bed at the time. Are we meant to believe Tywin was in the mood while his bowels were shut down and he was drowning in his own poisons? Others point to the line saying that Tyrion finds his father where he knew he'd find him, seated in the dimness of the Privy Tower. But Tyrion knows Tywin is there, not because he knows he's on Widow's blood, but because Tyrion was just in Tywin's bedroom, where he expected to find him, and Tywin wasn't there. So Tywin being in the Privy is not evidence that he's poisoned. But there is another thing. After Tywin's death, something weird and gross and wrong goes on with his corpse, which is laid out in the Sept of Baelor. The body rots with greenish skin and leaking fluid, and it stinks so badly that Tom and Wretches, Pycelle's eyes water, and one of the most devout has to be helped from the room. Davos hears that the corpse stinks so badly that no one is able to enter the Sept for days afterward. This isn't meant to happen. The room is filled with incense, and silent sisters prepare the body, removing bowels and organs, stuffing in salts and fragrant herbs, yet Tywin's body still really stinks. What does this mean? There's a famous Russian book called The Brothers Karamazov, where a monk dies and his body stinks afterwards, shocking and upsetting people and making them think that the monk was somehow corrupt or dishonest. So in the same way, the stink of Tywin's corpse might mean he's a rotten person. It might mean that his murder by his son is terrible and wrong, that his relationships with his family and his legacy are bad. And Tywin's rotting, smiling corpse is a mockery of his pride and power and sternness in life. So the horror of Tywin's body means lots of things. Some have suggested that it also shows that Tywin's body is corrupted by poison. But this doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense. If Tywin is poisoned by Oberon, it must happen before Oberon's death in Tyrion 10. The most likely time seems Jaime 7, when Tywin has breakfast with Oberon. But whenever it happens, there's a good chunk of time between the poisoning and Tywin's death, so it seems really weird that Tywin is apparently totally unaffected by the poison right up until he's dead, when it suddenly makes his body gross. It is plausible that Oberyn could use some slow-acting poison, but it's pretty implausible that the poison would only happen to kick in right after Tywin's death, and its only effects are decomposition and ickiness that can happen naturally anyway. So especially considering that the horror of Tywin's corpse already means a bunch of stuff, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with poison. One other thing to consider. Doran, Oberyn's brother, says he's been working at the downfall of Tywin Lannister since Robert's Rebellion, hoping to strip Tywin of all that he holds most dear before killing him. So he's disappointed when Tyrion kills Tywin. Doran doesn't want Tywin dead yet. This is important because Doran says that he works closely with Oberyn in their plans to strike at their enemies. If they're working closely together, Oberyn would surely share Doran's goal of stripping Tywin of all that he holds most dear before killing him. 
so he wouldn't kill him right after arriving at King's Landing. It's true that Oberon's impatient, unpredictable, bloodthirsty even, but would a bloodthirsty man secretly and anonymously kill his enemy with a slow-acting poison? Look at how Oberon kills Gregor. He makes a show of it, demands a public confession, insists on killing Gregor with his own hands. It's not at all Oberon's style to quietly poison Tywin, and it probably goes against Doran and Oberon's plans. So at first glance, it seems totally reasonable to think that Oberon might poison Tywin. Oberon wants revenge on Tywin, Oberon's known to use poison, the two even have a convenient breakfast together not long before Tywin's death. But the closer you look at this theory, the less sense it makes. Oberon's known to use poisoned weapons in duels, but slipping poison into people's morning tea is not his style at all. Slow-acting poison, too, which apparently has no effect on Tywin in the time between Oberon's death and his. Tywin's being on the privy and the stench of his corpse have more to do with subverting his dignity and reputation than with any exotic poison. At the end of the day, while it is possible that Oberon poisons Tywin, there's no evidence that it happens, and there are good reasons to believe that it probably doesn't. So the most reasonable conclusion is that Oberon did not poison Tywin. Thanks for watching.